everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Life with Lindsay. Today we have an unboxing. I am super, super excited about this unboxing. I have already fumbled with the scissors to get it out of the cardboard box, but if you guys are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting content and crafting related stuff. Come hang out, subscribe, like the video, hit the bell, all that fun stuff. If you've been here before, hi, welcome back. So, um, I'm attempting with scissors off camera because nobody needs to see me fumbling with that. So this canvas comes to us from Diamond Art Club and I am super excited about this. Uh, the magenta strip here and the round symbol on the front does indicate that this is a round drill kit. If you are looking for one that is blue there, uh, that will be your square kits. So why am I so excited about this? Well, I've been asking Diamond Art Club now for two years to include Hanukkah in their holiday releases. And if you've been around long enough, you've probably heard me rant and rave in some iteration, in some form, some capacity, whether it's here on Insta or here on YouTube or on my Instagram, um, which all my information is always down below. Um, we need to be more inclusive. And I do celebrate Hanukkah. My family celebrates Hanukkah. And it's a real kick in the teeth when there are... A million different Christmas items, prints, canvases, um, decor, anything. And there's like barely anything, if anything at all, for those who don't celebrate. So, um, this is the canvas they have released this year. This is Hanukkah by the McNeil Studio. It is a 51 by 76 round centimeter, round drill canvas. Guys, words are really hard. Um... I had somebody recently ask me, well, what are you looking for in a canvas? And I wanted it to be more than just symbolism, personally. I want there to be options. Just like if you're buying something that's Christmas, you've got more than one option of wrapping paper. You have more than one option of decor. You have more than one option. I don't want there to be one option to be told I should be thankful for it. Yes, I do sound bitter. I'm aware. So here is a little sticker. Um... I also reached out to Diamond Art Club when they did the sneak peeks on uh, their social media. If you did not know that, Diamond Art Club does. Uh, they post everything that's dropping for that release online, on Facebook, on Instagram. And I asked them which creator is going to be doing a sneak peek. And I was told that none of the creators have requested this. So I have yet to see anyone else get this and unbox it. I got mine today, and I'm going to put it up right away. Here is the big sticker sheet. If you guys are new to Diamond Art Club, their newer canvases come. They are all pre-cut stickers. You can put these directly on your labels. The older ones are also stickers. They're just not pre-cut. I love this image, though. It It's very Judaica, and it has the menorah, and it has, like, the Star of David. And I'll go over a little bit. I'll, I guess I'll, I'll drop some fun facts while I do all this. But here's dreidels and gelts and presents. But there's also the snow covered trees in the window and uh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Uh, there are step by step instructions. If you did not know inside every one of these, there is a discount code on your packing slip. There is a discount code. Diamond Art Club never wants you to pay full price ever. So let's unroll this. It actually looks like it's going to flatten out pretty quickly today. So move the drills real quick. It is the smallest case of drills I've seen in a long time. It has 36 colors. Surprisingly, three, four. Whoa, four ABs. Okay, let's check this out. So this is one of those canvases where the majority of the colors are all the same color palette. But you can see here right through the trees or right through the window. Here's the window. Um, there's the snow covered trees, a little bit of like icicles up here. I love this. I, when I say I want something for Hanukkah, I, I would love like a family scene. I would love something that's equivalent to the Christmas options that are out there. Because when you buy decor for Christmas, it's a lot more than just a Christmas tree or Santa Claus or a cross. Like I want there to be something that shows the humanity behind the holidays. Um, for those who don't know, uh, my husband was not raised in a Jewish household and he was always <laughs> under the impression that um, Hanukkah was the equivalent of like Jewish Christmas. And I'm just here to tell you that's not the case. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we got here. If you don't know. Um, so you've got your Star of David here. This is your dreidel. Well, there's two dreidels here. These are your gelt. If you don't know what any of that means, gelt is chocolate coins. Dreidels are spinning tops. They have four different letters on them. They are different here 
than they are in Israel because the translation of what each of the letters stands for, this is super Cliff's Notes version. So um, it stands for a great miracle happened there, as in in Israel. And in Israel, it translates to a great miracle happened here. Uh, there are two presents. Um, the dreidel and the gelt go together. Uh, I was wondering why there was red on the canvas because I saw some up there, but that makes sense right there. So these are two of the letters. This is a gimbal. This is a hay. If you're wondering what dreidel is, it is a spinning top and it is a game that is played. It is basically the earliest form of uh, gambling that we teach our children. <laughs> and we use the gold chocolate coins. <laughs> um, so I'm going to keep talking about this while I pull the drills out. So... Um, not a big bag at all. If you guys don't like the noise of the crinkle, I do apologize. I will go quickly. If you do, that is for you. So we, um, again, this is all the super Cliff's Notes version. So, um, just bear with me. The Jews, when they were hiding, because they didn't want to be killed, um, they were hiding in like a cave. Sorry, I'm just looking at these colors. There's going to be a lot of these like whites and tans. I'm not really going to go over them in depth, but I will show them as I'm talking. Um, but like you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of this 3865. So they were hiding. And the whole story of Hanukkah is that they had just enough oil to last them for one day and one night. And by some miracle, it lasted for seven days and eight nights. That is what the length of Hanukkah is. Here is our first AV drill. Um, actually, I think I passed another one already. We got two. So here is 141. This is a white AV. And then this is 137, which is a bright blue AV. If you do not know what an AV is, it is an Aurora Borealis. That means that it is a regular drill with an extra shiny coating put on it. Um, it makes everything around it sparkle even brighter. So, anyway, they had that, the a little bit of oil. And so, here's another color. This is 129. This is a very pale yellow. I've used this one before. It's beautiful. Um, let's see. There's our little bits of red. Oh, and here we go. 101. I don't know if I've used 101. 101. I might be wrong, but it looks very similar. Yeah, a little bit darker. Um, this is a paler. It looks darker in camera than it does in person. Um, but it is a paler blue um, with the AB coating on it. So again, they had enough oil and because it lasted for seven days, eight nights, Hanukkah is literally a celebration of oil. If you were wondering why do Jewish people always eat donuts and latkes during Hanukkah, that is why they deep fry everything. Um, or they cook it in oil. If you don't want to. <laughs> so anyway, back to dreidel. Well, I look for, I'm going to look on here uh, one, two, three, and four. Thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, for doing one, two, three, and four as one, two, three, and four. Um, if you don't know what I mean, like, I mean, the symbol matches the actual, like, number. So I'm going to look for them on the canvas and show you guys where they go while I keep talking a quick history of Hanukkah. I can see right here there's some four in the, the base of the menorah um, and in all of the, throughout the whole menorah. Um, so... To pass the time while they were hiding out, they would play dreidel. Here's some four in the present, in the bow. And they would play the game. They would spin the top. And I'm going to just move these out of the way real quick. If I can find images, I'll add them in here as I'm talking about them. But the nun, which is one of the symbols stands for none, which means you get none, you win none. Um, gimel means you get the whole pile. Hay means, which is this little guy here. Um, that's hay. That means you get half the pile. And shin means you put one in. All right, I am not seeing any one. Oh, here's some twos. Any ones or threes. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be a color blocking dream. If that's your thing, um... Am I crazy enough to do a third canvas? Yes. If you guys are watching this in present time, um, Hanukkah is super, super early this year. It is, it begins November, here's some twos, November 28th. 
there's twos in all of the flames here. Um, and which color is three? Three is darker blue. So let's see. Um, so this year, it goes from November 28th to December 6th is the last night. So I think it gets equated with Christmas because it tends to be during the same time of year. If you guys are seeing threes anywhere, just jump out and let me know. <laughs> Hopefully my head's not, like, in camera. Um, this is by far the most nerve-wracking part of doing any kind of unboxing, is, like, trying to find the thing while you're talking. Um, I'm actually not seeing any threes. That's a little bit... Oh, here we go. All of these. Because they're blue with an orange symbol. So all of this in the candle. So, um, this is beautiful. I think that this would very easily work up with if you wanted to add some special drills to menorah like some sparklers or um some like metallic drills i think that really could help make this one pop i'm really excited i'm gonna work on this at the same time as i'm working on two other canvases but i want to get this up i want there to be something beautiful to represent a holiday for um people who celebrate it um if you guys have a favorite holiday tradition whatever it may be please let me know down below uh, my husband and I started doing a little Hanukkah hangout a very casual super impromptu Hanukkah get together with our friends where we could expose them to some of the more simple yet traditional Jewish foods like latkes and matzo ball soup both are delicious if you've never tried them please try both of them latkes are basically like a giant hash brown um if you guys do like latkes, what do you eat yours with? I am team applesauce all the way. My husband does sriracha, which I can't. No, that's not traditional. Applesauce, sour cream. And I know you guys are thinking, you just said it's like a hash brown. Why would I want to put sour cream and, and applesauce on it? Trust me. That's what it is. So I'm going to get out of here before I keep rambling. This is beautiful. There's tons and tons of color blocking. Um, Super sticky, as always. The symbols are clear as day. I know it's true to size because it is Diamond Art Club. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to Diamond Art Club for finally um, including people who celebrate Hanukkah in your holiday releases. I am very, very, very excited by this. Um, there are a couple other companies that have images out there. They do exist. Again, not everything is uh, my style or everybody else's style. But the point of it is to be included. And I'm going to leave you guys with one little note here. I've had this conversation with people in my real life world. I've had this conversation online. If we want to raise our kids to be better, more accepting, fully formed human beings, we need to expose them to things that are outside of their box and their four walls. So for me, living in a predominantly Christian area um, or like a Christian area, uh, it is going to be very important that we relay the messages of Judaism and Jewish holidays to those around us so that they can be exposed to it. So take the time, teach somebody something about what you believe in or what you celebrate or what you love, something that the people around you might not be. It doesn't have to be religious, but just do something to expose people to something outside of their box. And um, let's all take the time to make the world a better place one person at a time. If you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more content like this or nothing like this at all, please make sure you give this video two thumbs up, one real life, one virtual. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. Dang. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time and I record while my tiny human is sleeping or like today, sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>